Hey, look. Is that a new coffee machine? Yeah, Chan. It's the iCoffee Pod 2000. Point one. I. Oh. It's the latest thing. It's got five settings. There's a power button, it cleans itself, and it transforms into a coffee cup. Uh. Hey you there, do you love coffee? Are you tired of spending tens of seconds making coffee every morning, only to slip on a toy car and have steaming hot milk in your eyes? I never do that. Now introducing the iCoffeePod 2000. Point one, I. Like most pods, each one only has 5 grams of actual coffee instead of the 20 grams you get from a barista. It also comes with some fun plastic filters. Once you're done, just throw them out with the other 3 million coffee pods Australians use each day. Most of that ends up in landfill where it can sit for over 500 years. Did you know the inventor of the coffee pods, John Sylvan, regrets making them? Really? How come? Because there's a lot of plastic in each pod, which means most can't be recycled. Some companies make biodegradable pods, which are great, but only if you have an industrial composting system in your country. Do you? Now, Nespresso does have aluminium pods, which are recyclable, but only at their specific collection points. Other companies might also take back your pods, but be careful because they might ask you to disassemble them first, like a coconut which can be really, really annoying. I don't think mine does that. Can I do something else? Look man, the coffee pods, they're a pain. Don't use them. You're better off using a regular machine where you can produce stronger, fresher coffee and you can take the grounds to a local nursery or even put them in your own compost. Win, win, 10 out of 10. So what the heck happened to your old coffee machine? Oh, Imogen threw that away. And she bought me this one. Of course she did. I'll make sure to recycle you. <gasps> Luck, how do we come to this? Damn it. If only more people had known about the effects of coffee pods and other small plastics, we wouldn't be in this situation. Don't worry, John. I've got an idea. I think mine does that. Is there anything else I can do? Look, man, coffee pods are a pain. Take them and poop in them. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We had a lot Thank of fun you. making this episode. Yeah. How long did it take us? Like we were filming Freaking since like, Jan. It's like a three minute episode. It took us like four months. It's ridiculous. So we're pretty professional. Yeah. We looked into some biodegradable coffee pod companies and we found out that biodegradable coffee pods aren't actually that biodegradable unless you have an industrial compost. So yeah, we have to change everything. Everything. Yep. Check out our next video in about a year, year's time. Alright, say that again. Alright, so just yeah, check out for our next video in about five, six months. Say that again, but don't look at the screen. Wait, don't look at the screen, the camera. The screen. Okay. So yeah, um, stay tuned for our next video in about five or six months. Hey guys, what up?